Welcome back to the Oddcast. I'm Alex. And I'm Ricky. And we're just two odd dudes who decided to start a podcast. And today we're talking about Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving food. Yeah, what's your, what's your overall thought on Thanksgiving food? Yay I or nay? I love nay? Thanksgiving food. It's all of it? It's a great day. Well, not all of it. Interesting. But a lot of it. I'm like, a, it's pretty good. No, it's the best. I think it's in the meat. I like okay. Christmas food more. What is Christmas food normally? Ham. Well, you can't say that. That just ruined where we're at now. You just ruined your position. The entire podcast is over at this point. I, I pointed, There's no mystery left. When I put it on my story, I pointed at him, so I already gave it away. Spoiler alert. Right. Let's get to the podcast. All right, well, before we get into talking about the best meat choice, mm-hmm. we're going to talk about the sides. Because here's my thought. The sides make the meal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The I sides agree. make it. Yeah. And, you know, later we're going to yell at each other about the meat choice. Right. The okay. protein. So you something. clearly disagree. I'm not going to say. All right. Maybe I'll just yell at you for liking the same thing you like. The same thing I yeah. like. <laughs> <laughs> for agreeing with me. Um, but before we get there, the sides are important. Yo, yeah. Sides are way important. And not only are they important and they make the meal, but they could like make Thanksgiving not good. Yeah, that's if, true. If you mess up if the sides. you don't sides, have good man, sides, yeah. It's done. Yeah, especially like a roll. If you have bad rolls, rolls are not like the most important thing. Oh, man. But they're really good. They're good. And like if you can't, if you don't got a roll to put other sides in, mm-hmm. that was good. Yeah. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving leftovers. Mm hmm. And Hawaiian rolls. Yeah. Mm. That's the best little slider sandwich that's ever been. Yeah. Very satisfying. Well, let's see. Uh, let's talk about what some of these people uh, said about their favorite sides. What do we say? The best Thanksgiving side. Yeah. What? What? Just before we start with them, what is your favorite and least favorite? Favorite is mashed potatoes. Yeah, it's a good one. It's the best. I don't need gravy either. Yeah. Okay? Well, if it's done right. Yeah, I'm I'm I usually sans gravy. Not mm-hmm. sand gravy. Without gravy. Right, right. Right. Because uh um, because sans gravy would be ridiculous. That would be ridiculous. Yeah. I just so many people do gravy wrong. Hmm. Not good. Okay. Canned gravy tastes weird to me. So I'd just rather go without it. I'm good with just mashed potatoes and, and yeah, yeah. my meat choice and my other things. I'm a pro gravy guy, but when I do mashed potatoes, I agree with you. I think mashed potatoes is the best, mm-hmm. <clears throat> especially if you get like uh, if they do they do like homemade mashed potatoes and they're like buttery or yeah. they put like the uh, like milk in them or some people do like sour and there's a cream little bit in of them. like a, a little chunk mm-hmm. in them. Oh, that's the best. A little chunk. Yeah, you know they're not like fully mashed. You can still taste like you can still get a little bit of the bite of the potato in it. That's my favorite kind. A little lumpy. A little lumpy. A little lumpy potatoes. I always mix mine with the stuffing and the gravy. Really good. That's a lot of texture, man. I know. That's, That's a great. lot of different my, texture. Um, one, of my, one of my best friends, Micah, he, his mom puts pecans in well, the gravy or in the stuffing. It. No, in the stuffing. Oh, for you. Yeah, because yeah. you're, you're allergic, allergic to tree nuts. Yeah. So she's trying to kill me? Yeah. That's she, rude of her. Every year, she's like, when are you going to invite Ricky so I can kill him with my stuffing? <laughs> But it's because I was I one that fig- figured out the dinosaur thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was about Im- immigrating. <laughs> Wait, what? Remember the whole the whole thing oh, about yeah <laughs> from, from kindergarten <laughs> from kindergarten yes. and then you thought they just didn't want to play dinosaurs. I was saying they were oh, man. they were migrating. Not immigrating. Yeah. they were migrating south. For they the were Im- immigrating. Immigrating too. <laughs> yeah. They were they were moving countries away from you. Oh man, this really got away from me. I have no idea. So what pecans in the stuffing. Okay, it. I mean, honestly, it doesn't add much taste, but it does add a little, add a little bit of crunch, which is nice. That's weird. I no, no, it's good, man. Because so much of the Thanksgiving sides are mushy. I don't think stuffing has to be mushy, though. I agree. That's what I'm saying. Is you put no, the pecans in, it's no, not mushy. I mean, I mean, like without the pecans, like normal stuffing doesn't have to necessarily be mushy. It could be good stuffing. I mean, it can, but like, what do you have in it that's not mushy? Like a bread? What? Because it's almost always mushy because it goes inside the turkey. Some people put celery in it. That gives it a crunch. Yeah, all right. I think just pecans like, are better than that. 
Why? You just said it had no no flavor. Neither does celery. No, celery has a flavor. It's just not a good one. <laughs> it's got no calories. Yeah. It's got negative calories. There you go. I don't know if that's true. It's better for you in one way. Better for you than what? Than Eating a napkin? What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oops. Sorry, I just bumped my mic. I'm going to scratch my nose here, though. Um. Well, our first one, our first responder said stuffing. Really? I like stuffing. I yeah, think I think stuffing's good. Obviously, I don't want pecans in it because that would murder me. Uh, but Fair enough. Classic stuffing. I'm not even opposed to like the box stuffings. No, yeah, you know, this is good. It's still good. Yeah, you got to add a little salt though. I like it a little saltier. Yeah, you know, because or else it's just bland mush. If you do it wrong. Yeah. Sometimes agreed. you do it right though. It's. I think the seasoning is very important when it comes to any Thanksgiving. Yeah. You know, because you you have kind of like mushy green beans. Yeah. Are mushy you, potatoes. Mushy yeah. stuffing. Okay, you have to reach for one. Your instinct, do you reach for salt or pepper? Salt. Your salt first person? Uh, no, actually, oh. probably not. Oh, now we know. Because I'm thinking, of, like, typically, at least when I'm cooking something, I don't expect that I'll have to put more salt on it. Mm-hmm. But pepper is more of like I want a, a little bit more of a bite or a flavor to it. You know? So you're a pepper boy, not a salt boy? I might be a pepper boy. Paul, pepper or salt boy? Salt. Salt boy. I'm a salt boy. Erica's a pepper girl. I'm a little different. You are. Erica's pepper. She would get rid of salt, she said. What? Just, just have pepper. No, that's crazy. I know. I like kosher salt. The one you just like, like big chunks? Yeah. Yeah. When I'm making yeah, steak, good. I just like, uh, I do great. the, uh, the pink Himalayan. No, I'm just kidding. I don't, I don't have any of that. <laughs> that's good. That's good it stuff. is good. It is good. Uh, one of these, one of these sides, I didn't even think about, and I don't know if it counts as a classic Thanksgiving side, but it's, it's mac and cheese. That's not a classic thing. It's not classic, right? No. That being said, the pilgrims did not have that. It... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, did that throw fact, you off a little bit. It there? did. <laughs> yeah. And it, immediately in my head, I went to, I want to rebut that. And then I was like, they didn't have green beans, and I was like, they probably had green beans, and I was like, they didn't have bread rolls, and I was like, they definitely had bread rolls, and I was like, they didn't. Put stuffing inside their turkeys, and I was like, I have no idea if that's oh, true. Who knows, knows the history? That's <laughs> <laughs> next week's episode. Are what? these Thanksgiving foods historically <laughs> accurate? Canned cranberries? Yeah, Absolutely. Say, that's what I was going to say. Canned cranberries. <laughs> we thought the oh, same thing. My goodness. Yeah. We'll continue with your mac and cheese. Oh, I would choose mac and cheese over all of them, though. Mac and cheese. Over mashed potatoes. Mac and cheese, especially like a homemade mac and cheese, one of the best sides ever. No but, matter what. I'll always I'll always eat a plate of mac and cheese. I I, I like mac and cheese, right? Mm, but it's yeah. it can be very heavy. Yeah. And I still can mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes are equally as heavy as mac and cheese. Well, they're not equally as heavy. They are equally no, as heavy. Pasta sits heavier, man. No, For me, no, it sits heavier. I feel feel like mm. absolutely not i love mashed potatoes. i think it's just because you eat less mashed potatoes like if you had a whole that bowl is false dude you should see if we have thanksgiving together ever it's it's my meat choice and 90 percent of my plate is mashed potatoes that's ridiculous you're, t- so that- you're telling me like if a whole bowl of mashed potatoes is more is less filling than a whole bowl of mac and cheese for you yes what? Listen, listen. You know the instant mashed potatoes? Yeah. The And there's the family size one? Yeah. I will make a family size one of those. Right. And eat the whole thing? And eat it. That's crazy. I know. But I do it. You got a thing for potatoes. I love them. They're really Potatoes good, and bread. I don't know, man. Potatoes and bread, I would be happy. Yeah. I mean, pasta is right. kind of just like bread. Yeah. Yeah. It's a different form of bread. You really like starches and carbs. A- Amen, brother. Yeah. <laughs> also, protein. Just really the one starch, though. Beef. Because yeah. I think a sweet potato you wouldn't be into. Yeah, they're fine. I like sweet potato fries, but like, if yeah. I could choose a normal potato, I'm not going to the sweet potato fries. Right, right, right. It's like I'm on my choice. Right. If I was like going to die if I ate a potato and sweet potatoes were there and I'd be fine, I'd do that. Yeah. I, I wouldn't enjoy it as much. It'd be sad. Yeah. It'd be heartbreaking. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. It would be a not so sweet potato. Someone brought up. Um, um, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Sweet potato casserole in here. Yeah. Which is the one with the marshmallows on it. Oh, typically. yeah. Yeah. I don't get the hype, man. I don't either. Honestly, I can't any, tell you the last year I've eaten one. Any 
time you had to put marshmallows on a dish to get me to eat it. Right. That That's a gimmick, bro. Yeah. Like, just feed me marshmallows. Why do I got to eat these potato potatoes in here? And you're like, oh, they're sweet potatoes. Nah, man. If they are sweet potatoes, you're not going to have to add marshmallows to them. Yeah, they're not that sweet. They're not that sweet. Yeah. That's dumb. Why not? I'm Here's my thought. With that whole dish, make that out of pumpkin. That'd be good. Amen, bro. Right? I love pumpkin pie. I know. It's so good. We can't talk about that yet. That's dessert. That's but, later. Oh, that's pump, later. That would, that's a That'd great be great, idea. though. It would look the same, but people would like it more. And if you want to be like- You it, just broke the mold of sweet potato. Casserole. Casserole. What would you call it, though? Just pumpkin casserole? Pumpkin casserole. I watched a TikTok today. I'm going off right now. Okay? Yeah, let me hear it. Let me hear it. And it wait, was, wait, Paul. Are we allowed to go off topic? Uh, let me see. Uh, yes, you may. We're cool, allowed. Cool, okay, cool. he's allowing us. Uh, I it was sorry. Rephrase. I watched a YouTube video today. Yeah, yeah. And the YouTube video was um, uh, fails on Gordon Ramsay's cooking show. Oh, good. Okay. On their signature dishes that yeah. they have to present to him at the start of the show, and one guy uh put chicken inside. He cooked it and he put it inside, like in a stew, of a pumpkin. What? Yeah, it was awful. It was it was one of the worst ones, right? And then Gordon Ramsay was like, "There was like potatoes on the outside." He was like, "Did you put some butter in these?" And the guy was like, "Oh yeah, a little bit." And he like picks it up and squeezes it, and it's just like butter's just dripping out of these like string potatoes. And it was just it was awful. And he opened it up and it's just like pouring out. It was this huge mess. And he eats it and he like spits, spits it out. And he's like, "That's not even cooked right." He was like, you didn't even season the pumpkin. He's like, what do you call this? And the guy was like, um, hen in a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, bro, you miss a perfect opportunity for a pun there. Instead of pumpkin, it's punk hen, pump, pump hen. Pump That's hen. hilarious. Yeah. Like, at least you would have got a laugh out of Gordon Ramsay. Anyways, he brought a pumpkin. And I was like, we could create a clever name for that. So it's sweet potato uh. casserole. Listen. Anytime you you try and say something's a casserole, that's just code for we put a bunch of junk in this thing yeah. and it's not that good and we mix it all together and we're trying to make you like it. Yeah, casserole is kind of like, maybe I'll, I'll get a little hate of this. It's kind of like the lasagna of anything else. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, listen, listen. I think lasagna though is typically a little more orderly. Oh yeah, because you got the you got the layer casserole, right? Like yeah, yeah, it's high end casserole. But they're just mixing stuff. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Put it in a put in a casserole pot. Yeah, cook it for however long it takes for the <laughs> thing that needs the most cooking time to really the meat to cook. Like here's how I imagine casseroles are made. Someone opens the fridge. All right. Well, shoot, we don't have much. <laughs> you know what we should do? Just put all this in a in a bowl and call it a casserole. And cook it and see what happens. You know that's what I mean? how every casserole has ever been invented. Sweet potato casserole, green bean casserole. It's like ah, we don't really have anything. We got green beans. We got a lot of those this this year. The harvest. Let's just cook. Let's cook those with something else. Look, green bean casserole. I don't even know what's in green green bean casserole other than green beans. Uh, I think there's some sort of cream in it, like a milk. See, disgusting. Yeah. Just eat the green beans, man. Is that true? Paul, do you know what's in green bean casserole? I'll, I'll look it up. You... Some salt. salt. Salt, green beans, and half and half. <laughs> we sound so ignorant right now. Watch it be like, there's also couscous in it. What is in green bean, green bean casserole? Look at it. See, other people are wondering. It was the number one thing when I put what is in G. Uh, green bean casserole. Campbell's Soup Company. Oh, not a sponsor. What what other ones did the people say while I'm looking this up? Um, somebody said, I mean, there's a lot of mashed potatoes or some rolled sweet potatoes, right? Normal things. Somebody said tamales. What? I don't know what Thanksgiving they're going to, but I'm Who's down. Let me see. It was uh, was don't, it, don't say their name. It was it was this person. I don't know who that is. They go they go to our church. Um, oh, but this is great because yeah. I'm I'm down for tamales on on Thanksgiving. Tamales. Yeah, like I'm anything that's a little bit unconventional on Thanksgiving, I'm super down for. Like mac and cheese. Like mac and cheese, or my mother in law is bringing uh, sausage and peppers this year. It's like an Italian thing that they do, and I was like, that sounds awesome. It sounds like you just don't like Thanksgiving. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, that's yeah, pretty yeah, accurate. Here's, I don't. Here's, that, here's, the here's the problem the with that. Here's the problem with that. 
Is this like this is okay? I'm I'm fine with the breaking of right, tradition right, right. stuff, right? Yeah. But this is not like we're just breaking tradition now. You're just having a different <laughs> meal. You're not like that's true. I like Thanksgiving food, except for Every the turkey. Day. The mashed potatoes are fine. Green bean casserole, nah. Sweet potato casserole, nah. You can throw some mac and cheese with some sausage in there, and we're good. You are not having Thanksgiving, sir. I, it's true. Okay, You're just no, having no, no, a Thursday no, no. dinner at four o'clock instead of seven thirty. If you ask, if you ask, <laughs> same friend I mentioned earlier. If you ask Micah, just like what's the what's the most interesting meal you've ever seen Alex eat on Thanksgiving? Because he his family's done Thanksgiving with me for the last like twelve years. <laughs> there was a year when I swear to you, I ate probably eight rolls and pretty much nothing else. <laughs> Except for like, like maybe a little, like a slice of turkey, and <laughs> I think a few wheat then. It's like it was. What is wrong I with don't you? No, man. Why don't you like it? I don't know. What? At least the mashed potatoes, man. You, just, you dip the rolls. But in the even mashed if potatoes? the mashed potatoes aren't done well, like if they're not seasoned well, it's just like mushy potatoes. This is why of, you just meh. throw pepper on it, man. More pepper. More pepper. All. Oh, I could do that. All right. Here's the green bean casserole. We are idiots. One can Campbell's condensed cream of mushroom soup. Cream of mushroom. Okay. Half cup of milk. One teaspoon soy sauce. Four cups cooked green beans and French's French fried onions. Oh, I forgot about the French fried onions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, listen. That's just... That's just green beans with French onions. That's just green beans with different types of cream in it. (laughs) Listen. (laughs) Listen. Listen, listen. If you're the person that, making the that, green bean casserole, yeah, no, this is at, where this oh, is okay. releasing after. If you're the person that brought green bean casserole, there's going to be a lot of people that like you, okay? Because people like green bean casserole. If you sit and you claim that you make homemade green bean casserole, <laughs> and you're using the one and one thirds cup of French's French fried onions out of the little container that yeah, I know yeah. we always have in our house because my wife loves it and puts it on her mac and cheese. Oh, if you're that using that and canned green beans, you did not make homemade green bean casserole. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay would be ashamed of you. What would Gordon do different? He'd like he. The only thing Gordon could do different is just make the cream of mushroom. <laughs> yeah, and he'd probably fry the onions he'd himself. Probably fry the onions. He'd probably get- Oh my gosh, but on the show, on the fails, that was like one of the most popular thing. It was like people would just use store-bought products. Oh, yeah, And yeah. they would make it for him, and he would just spit it out, <laughs> which is hilarious. He would just be like, and just like turn and spit yeah. right in front of him, and just look at him like with this look of disgust. Like, how yeah. dare you feed me normal people food? How dare I'm you Gordon feed Ramsay. me Campbell's? <laughs> <laughs> like, when... <laughs> One lady used canned tomato sauce and she was like defending herself to him. And he was like, like, he just didn't say anything. He's like, are you serious right now? Like you're on Gordon Ramsay's show and you're just going to give this guy some ragu. Like, yeah. come on. Was it like a pasta? Yeah. It was just like a <laughs> spaghetti. He's like, so you use pre-made noodles. Yeah. Pre-done pre-made sauce, sauce. Yeah. And it took you 45 minutes. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, that's let, great. Let's get back to the people. Oh, there's a lot of mashed potatoes on it. Yeah. I think second is probably green bean casserole though. It, it might be. My I mean, the sweet potato casserole did do do pretty well as well. Yeah. Uh, I it looks. I think mashed potatoes took the cake though. Yeah. But I I agree with you. Rolls are good, man. Uh, my 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 ranking. Yeah. Mashed potatoes. Okay. Hawaiian rolls. Yeah. We only do Hawaiian rolls. Yeah, okay. I don't know why. That's just always been a thing. But they're so good. That's probably why. We do crescent rolls typically. Crescent rolls. Are like the, like the like Pillsbury it. Doughboy ones. Yeah, they're yeah. good. They're like light it. and flaky. Yeah. But they very I buttery. Just love the wine rolls. Okay. Stuffing. Pretty much nothing else on the table I'm going to eat. Cranberry sauce. Listen. People make homemade cranberry sauce. We were talking about this earlier. Right, right. Whatever. I don't really like cranberry sauce, so I don't eat there's something satisfying about the canned cranberry sauce to it know like out I can that. cut it in exactly the same amount each and every time because it's marked for me. Yeah. Portion control. I mean, it is it, in the way it's it satisfying. comes out of the can is kind of satisfying. Yeah. It kind of looks like dog food. Yeah. A little bit or mm-hmm. like spam, but made out of cranberries. Spam berries. Spam berries. <laughs> I bet you there is 
spam. There probably is, and we do yeah. not want to eat that. We are not eating that. I would that on absolutely the try that. With we could do crowd? a podcast where we just try spam. I would. I would eat spam we, over over sauerkraut when we, any day. When we bought you sauerkraut, I almost bought you spam too. You didn't. What? Why? Just because I, I I felt like we could somehow manipulate or pressure you into eating it. Oh, definitely. I mean, <laughs> if you had it now, I would eat it. I would probably try it. I was See, at. I told you. Listen, I, told I you. was at this place called the Original Breakfast House. It's off of the fifty one, somewhere. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the 51 somewhere but they're like All right, i'll go find it yeah it's great uh they're they have huge portions so i really like them they pay only cash i don't know why they Maybe. only give you cash of huge port in por- huge portions no you can only pay with cash oh well that's weird yeah they might be illegal i don't <laughs> know but they have a hawaiian fried rice with pineapples and fried spam in it i really want to try it mm. i like fried rice any kind. i know what is your top? Is it is it mac and cheese? Your top top? If mac and cheese counts, I would definitely do that every time. What if it doesn't count? If I don't it think doesn't it count, I'd probably do I'd probably do mashed potatoes, but only if they're like slightly chunky mashed potatoes. If it's the ones that are just like whipped butter, no nah, man, I'm not about it. It's I feel like there's nothing for me to. I feel like I just have to swallow it. And that's <laughs> gross. Like I'm just I'm not about it. Oh my god. You got some weird texture thing going on. I do. There. It is. Like, it's like cottage cheese. I don't mind the taste of the cottage cheese, but it's t- just weird texture. You can't do anything. Do you eat ice cream? Yeah. Do you chew it? You got to at least like break it up in your mouth though, you know? <laughs> Mashed potatoes is this weird half consistency. <laughs> it's like between Paul, ice cream and Paul's applesauce. Right now is so funny. He's so judging you. I don't, he is. Wait, do you chew your applesauce? No, but that's that's more liquidy. So you can just that's like it's like you're t- almost drinking something. But I'm so confused. Here's the thing, because when you when you pick up applesauce, right, with a spoon, <laughs> what <probably>. did you do? <laughs> this with my hand, my spoon, <laughs> spoon hand, obviously. You just get that big <laughs> vat of <laughs> applesauce. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a, yeah. <laughs> when you're eating applesauce. <laughs> Listen, listen. I'm listening. I'm listening. You dip your spoon into the applesauce, you bring it out, and the spoon levels out, right? You only get like a, a what? It's not a teaspoon. What's the other one? Tablespoon. Tablespoon. You only get a tablespoon's worth of applesauce. So it's like you're taking a sip of something, basically. When it's mashed potatoes, you stick your your spoon in, you pull it out, and it's like a big chunk. So then you get this big chunk of whatever, not whatever, it's potatoes. <laughs> In your mouth, and you're just like you can't chew it. You just gotta like. When, when do you swallow? Do you swallow right away, or do you like taste the mashed potatoes first? I don't know. It's too confusing, and I'm not about it. <laughs> That's why I need a little bit chunky mashed potatoes. So there's something for me to bite. So your argument, <laughs> yeah. Your argument was, mashed potatoes are too confusing. They're too confusing. My mouth doesn't know what's up. Doesn't know it can't hang. <laughs> I I don't agree with your too confusing. I'm talking specifically very mushy mashed potatoes. Yeah, yeah. I do like them more whipped. You know, kind of fluffy. So yeah, okay. Not crunchy necessarily. You keep using the word crunchy. And I, I said chunky. Chunky. I don't. Chunky's want, the way. Chunky's a weird word that I would use in mashed potatoes, but I like them kind of like. Whip, where they got the peaks, you know? They call it the peaks. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. I'm kind of fluffier. I'm good with that. Okay. I'm good with the other ones too. I'll eat mashed potatoes in any form. I'll eat potato in any form. That, all right. As long as it's not a sweet potato. Not me, man. Not me. Are there other types of potato? How many types of potatoes are there? Mm. Red potatoes? Red potatoes. Blue potatoes. All right. Or maybe they're purple? I don't know. Colorblind. I don't know. What they say on the bag. They look about. They look. I don't know what they look. I don't know I'm what they out. look. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. I'm anymore. so confused about potatoes. I feel like my mind is just reset and it's just only thinking about Thanksgiving. Yeah. Well, what is your favorite Thanksgiving dessert? Pumpkin pie. Easy. Pumpkin pie. Okay. Oh, look. Wait. Because I wrote it down on this. I mistook myself just now. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> 
Pumpkin cheesecake is the best one. <laughs> I mistook myself right now. Yeah, I've mistook him. It was the, the, I've been mistaked. <laughs> the I mash, have mistaken. The my, mashed potatoes are still confusing you? Yeah. They're in your brain. They're in my brain. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> I don't know what happened, man. What happened to you? It's really hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> I just... We took a week I off. Feel like I, haven't, I feel like I haven't slept for a while. That's how I feel. What is That's not the case, but it's how I feel. All right. <laughs> So pumpkin cheesecake. Pumpkin cheesecake. Do you like pumpkin pie? Yeah, I like it's pumpkin pie. It's just not pie. the best. It's not as good as pumpkin cheesecake. Yeah. Okay. But if it, pumpkin cheesecake isn't, isn't an option, I'll still eat pumpkin pie. You eat pumpkin pie. Are you a whipped cream person? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Okay. I got another question. What kind of whipped cream person are you? Are you talking about like do I do ready whip or are you no, like no. homemade whip? Don't care about that. How much? Oh, I'm like a you coat the top. But not like overflowing. You know how some people are like, I do a little dollop. That's, that's you're a <laughs> the, fool. The dollop is ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. How do you not know that the whipped cream is better than the pie? Yeah. You know, you know what I do? What? I cover the whole top and then I take my fork and I smooth it over the edges. And all you can see is whipped cream on top of the pumpkin pie. Mm. And then everybody has whipped cream perfectly on it. That's not a bad idea. It's amazing. But they're, my favorite is the thing that I told you my mom made. Yeah. She still won't even tell me what the name of it is. She she might have told me before. <laughs> She's got to listen time, to this podcast. Last time she was like, I'll make you some. And yeah. I was like, all right. Still wait. I want to try. I'm sure I want to try some. some. Thanksgiving. Yeah. I'll, I'll have her make you one. Cool. She'll, she'll probably make you one. I appreciate that. She listens. So just ask her right now. Looking in the camera and say something nice to her. Ricky's mom. I feel like we're not on a first name basis, are we? That's just you, whatever. You, you're, you're. It's your time right now, man. I feel weird doing that. Um, <laughs> do I have your permission? <laughs> I would, I would like to try some of your pumpkin <laughs> whipped cream pie. That rhymed. That did. All right. Well, let's. Uh, also, I'm so sorry you had to listen to this episode <laughs> and me <we> just. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into the uh, the fans' responses. There's a lot of apple pie on here. Like, I'd say the majority. I'd say the one that people like the most is apple pie. Apple or so? pumpkin? Yeah. Oh, apple, yeah, for sure. Pumpkin, apple. Look, apple, there's a lot of apple. Pumpkin, apple. Oh, pumpkin, pumpkin. What is the difference between an apple pie and a Dutch apple pie, though? Uh, one is Dutch. That does not help From me. Deutschland. Does that mean? No. Well, uh, oh, good. I. I feel like that means it's covered with a top crust as opposed to just like that like little slats. The like lattices, a calzone. The lattices. Is that what they're yeah, called? I think so. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know exactly. I'd venture a guess. When I was growing up, I had an uncle um, who lives out in the boonies with uh, in New Mexico. Got a lot of land out there. Hmm. And they would uh, use the, oh my gosh, the Dutch oven thing. Yeah, the, the little... The cast... Not cast it's a, iron. It's is a it cast, cast iron, iron, I think. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever it's made of. I'm, I'm uncultured in this, in this yeah. venture. I just You're not Dutch. Thing. Yeah. And they, you know, where you'd bury it. You make the coals yeah, and yeah. you bury it. And that's how... And they always... He always called that Dutch Dutch like cobbler or pie. Maybe it's that. Maybe it's that. Maybe it's made... It has uh, cookie crumble on top. Cookie crumble on top. Oh. Mm-hmm. I was wrong. But he, I had this conversation today. With some uh, fellow pie lovers. Hmm. I like pie. I'm not a huge cake person because the icing is just bleh. Too sweet. It's not even too sweet. Just it's not doesn't taste good to me. Hmm. Um, pumpkin pie I like. Because the thing with pumpkin pie is no matter wh- whose house yeah. I go to, if I look and see a pumpkin pie, I know exactly what to expect. Yeah. It is fair. consistent. It is consistent. Right? Yeah, because everybody I, buys it from Costco. Exactly. <laughs> right? But if I go to a same same dinner. Yeah. And I venture to the apple pie. No, I have no, no idea what I'm gonna get. Yeah. Could be good, could be bad. So people with pumpkin pie or with apple pie, people do some weird stuff, man. They like try and get creative and weird. I bit into one one time, nearly killed me because I had some sort of tree nut in it. So I had to take a Benadryl. That wasn't a fun time. No. Right? People, 
people just start adding weird stuff to apple pie i don't understand it just make apple pie it's yeah. good no that's fair I, it's american I, I hear you there why are you changing it you hate america i don't know. i don't they might just make the normal apple pie depends who were you going to to the house of when you uh, had that yeah. apple pie <laughs> i don't remember <laughs> maybe they hated me <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't even there wasn't even stuff in that apple pie. They just threw one as I was you eating. Did, and threw it in my you mouth. Took a bite and they they whispered, "They're like apple die, <laughs> <laughs> Dutch apple die, <laughs> <laughs> cookie crumbles." Actually, yeah. cashews. And you're like, "This is Dutch," and they're like, "Ah, uh, yeah, yeah." <laughs> okay, but even even with all that being said, mm. there's something more atrocious than that than defaming and the debauchery of al- the apple apple pie. Are you about to mention the one? Yeah, I'm about to mention the one that's on here multiple times. It's pecan pie. Pecan pie. This is disgusting. It's not that bad. It's, it's bad. just because you can't have tree nuts. It's not just that. Listen. Look, 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 look. You listen. What? You, you listen. listen. It doesn't even look appetizing. All right, it I'll looks listen. like a bunch of cockroaches on top of a pie. That's not at all the Google case. Google a picture right now. Google it. Fine. I'm going to Google, Google a picture it. of it pecan pie. It does not pie. look good. And also... Why do people feel the need to put a bunch of tree nuts and all these types of nuts in desserts? Desserts are sweet. Why would we go, oh, you know what this sweet dessert needs? What? What? Some nuts. It needs texture. Why? No, it doesn't. Add some chocolate chunks in there. That's texture. That's good. Pecan pie. That looks like roaches. (laughs) (laughs) Because it is roaches. Uh, Yeah. I just showed him a photo of of roaches on a pie. Bean Bean pie. Chocolate is a bean. Beans would be better. Coffee beans would be better of a pie. A coffee bean pie. Would be way better than pecan pie. You know what? It does kind of look like roaches. Look at this. Look at this. If you can't. They're not going to be able to see Hang on. Hang on. You got to do the thing where you cover it. You cover it like a. uh, a, Can they see it, Paul? Am I in it, Paul? Yeah. Paul, am I in it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, if you're... Hopefully it's not a copyrighted this, photo. This <laughs> is roaches. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Listen, this is roaches. Look at it. I it's understand. disgusting. Listen, I understand. It does... I, I'll agree with you. Thank you. It does kind of look like roaches, but it does not taste bad. Pecans taste good, for one. The only problem I have with pecan pie... Now, the second problem I have with pecan <laughs> pie, aside from you're the not fact gonna that to, now... You're not going to be able to unsee that. Yeah. Sorry, I ruined pecan That's pie That's okay. <laughs> Pecan pie is my secondary pie choice when because typically what happens is Micah's mom will make a pecan pie. My mom will make a, like a rhubarb pie. Sorry, Micah's mom. Rhubarb is another one. I like rhubarb. Well, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me have my thing here okay, real quick. So it's pecan pie, fruit. it's just too sweet for me. What? Yeah. It is. It's too chocolate. It's just too sweet. That's my problem with pecan pie. I'm all sorts of confused right now. You think it's too sweet? It's too sweet. And I like pies that got a little bit of tang, like a rhubarb pie or even an apple pie. I don't have a problem with rhubarb pie, man, but who decided, who who was sitting in a room? It's the same people as the casserole. Someone was like, you know, we don't have anything in this fridge but rhubarb. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It definitely came out of the Great Depression. Like, it was like, we don't have anything here, so we're going to make a pie <laughs> out of this thing. rhubarb. We have nothing. Yeah. The other guy's like, I got a rhubarb. Perfect. Like, what is that? A red celery? Yeah, <laughs> let's use that. <laughs> let's let's put that in a pie. That'll that'll be great. People will love it. At least it doesn't look like roaches. That's true, man. That's true. Is that what's under pecan pies? Is chocolatey? I think so. Is it a chocolate mousse? Yeah. I, think I just like to say the word mousse. Yeah, it's a good word. Why? I don't. I just. I, did, I don't. Why? Understand. What? What are we why, talking about? Why? Why pecan pie? Why just, not, man? It just. It's, it looks unappetizing. It looks. Unappetizing. Even if I, I could, even yeah. if I could eat it, I I wouldn't I wouldn't be like looking through the window of a place that I could buy pies from. And be like, you know what? I really want the roach pie. I mean, up until today, I didn't think it looked like a roach, and I was fine. It was great, actually. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here's I'm, what they gotta do: I'm they just sorry. gotta start burying the pecans under a layer, or put whipped cream on top. <laughs> That's great. Now that I think about it, <laughs> whipped cream every time. You're just gonna be like. Yeah, there is no roaches in here. <laughs> the crunch is just a pecan. I'm so sorry I ruined pecan pie. For it's okay, man. Like I said, it's my secondary choice, and that's oh. typically when I only have two pies. So yeah, it's not the one I, I go for. I like apple. I like blueberry pie. 
Yeah, blueberry pie. Blueberry lemon pie. Have yeah, you ever had that's that? good. Oh. That is good. Yeah. Fruits, fruit pies are good. I like that, yeah, like a little tang too. I on feel it. like mm. pies predominantly should stay in the fruit region. Yeah. But when, uh, but like a, a shepherd's pie or like a chicken pot pie? You don't like those? I, I'll eat it. Oh, man, I don't like those. But, man, it's just, it's just like it's too much going on. They're good. They're good. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, I'm not a big gravy person. And it's like, right, it's right. very gravy heavy in those. Sure, you know what I'm saying? Sure. So it's just, you know, it's not. All right. The moment you've been waiting for. The moment. moment <laughs> the moment I've been waiting for. For. <laughs> for you. Um, <laughs> it's ha- Dutch. Ha- ham versus turkey. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. Well, you already told us what you are. Of course. You want to so give the us the moment your, you've been waiting for to I, yell I, at me. No, I just want to hear your explanation. I like ham. You want to know my explanation? What kind of ham, though? You got to, you got to. Uh, honey baked ham. Honey baked ham is good. Oh, yeah, of course. What are you talking about? Oh. Yeah. That spiral cut. You just when you get off. that, like, mm. little, uh, do you do the one with, like, the brown sugar on the outside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so good. yeah. It's good. Right? That's so good. It is. I got I got some, I got a confession. What? You like it better? I think I like ham better. Yes! <laughs> you but, weren't going to yell but, at me. But. If I'm going classic, like this year I'm making a turkey. Yeah. This is my, I made one last year, but yeah. I'm smoking one this year. Yeah. I'm really excited about yeah. it. Yeah. Got a whole process planned out. It's going right, to be right. good. You know, I'm getting pretty fancy on my Traeger, and, and I'm getting pretty yeah. fancy in cooking at this point. You are, you are. I'm going to spatchcock it. I mean, I'm going to take out the, the spine, lay this bad boy flat. Wow. So it presents really nicely. I'm getting in. I'm getting into a different mode. I'm excited. Of my life. I won't be there, but uh, send me a photo. I'll for send sure. you a photo. It'll be on my Instagram. Probably. Okay, cool. You know, because any good cook has to post something on their Instagram. Right. Yeah. But turkey done well, right, is really really good. The problem is here. Here's here's where I land with this. Yeah. Let me hear. Ham is the safer option. That's that might be right? fair. Like. I feel like ham is harder to mess up than turkey because yeah. turkey, boom, dry. Yeah. You just look at it and it gets dry, right? Yeah. Last year, my turkey was pretty good. I babied it a lot. It wasn't dry, but it wasn't like, oh, yeah. Right. These things, you know. Right. Oh, okay. primo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. This year, I'm hoping with not being on direct heat, being on the Traeger, smoking it, right. we'll have a little better options. Be uh, basting it a lot, keeping it good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I have a story. All right, let me hear. So, um, years ago. Yeah. Years and years ago. I was young. Um, had family in Michigan. Mm-hmm. We were there for for uh, Thanksgiving. It's cold in Michigan during Thanksgiving. Sure. It was snowing. Uh, first time I experienced heated seats. You know, as an Arizona boy, we don't really need those. That's just called That's seats. That's true. Yeah, <laughs> especially leather seats. Yeah, they're all always heated. Yeah. Um, I kind of feel like my seat right now is heated. It's just that hot in here. Fake leather. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's like seventy five degrees out there. So it's probably like seventy eight in here. Yeah. But it's just we're under the lights. You yep. know. It takes a lot to make us look be- this beautiful. It does. There you go, buddy. Normally. Yeah. We don't look this beautiful. Yeah. Paul does a lot of camera work for us. Yeah. Um, touch up every second. So I went um, to Michigan and we're cooking turkey, right? Yeah, sure. And uh, there's a whole long backstory and all the like, you know, yeah. family family drama that always happens, right? And uh, oh, we should cook this. We should, no, we got to right, cook right. the turkey, blah, blah, blah. Oh, we should have some extra because we had a lot of people there. And they're like, no, no, no. We, we ended up getting some extra. Right. Well, they're out cooking a turkey, deep frying a turkey. Oh, no. Which is the okay. best type of turkey. Yeah. Right. It just is dangerous. It costs it a lot go to wrong. do. Go real wrong. So they're out there waiting, freezing cold outside. Yeah. yeah. Everyone, uh, you know, all the guys are just huddled around this deep fryer. Sure. Just, you know, naturally, what do we do? We just sit and wait for meat to cook. Right. It's like a natural man thing. You just got to do it. Yeah. And, um, you know, sitting there waiting, 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 waiting. And they're like, oh, man, it should have been done by now, but, you know, it's not. It's not registering yet. It's not ready yet. Because they're just watching the thermometer. Oh, thermometer no broken. No one decided. You know what we should do? We should check on the turkey. No one decided this. So eventually it gets to the point where we're like, an hour past when the turkey should have been done. Oh, no. And someone says, okay, you know, we're freezing cold. We don't want to take our mittens off to check this, but we got to check it. Pull it out. 
the turkey has shriveled up into just a black lump of darkness. It is gone. There is no meat left on the turkey. It is literally like it was a giant turkey that turned into just solid black this, like burnt to a crisp. That's awesome. That is that is the problem with turkey. Yeah. That I've never seen that happen with ham. Right, right. That's horrible. <laughs> I think turkey should be made on Thanksgiving. That's where I stand. I think it's classic. I think you do a lot of other stuff. I think you throw mac and cheese in there if you want. Sure. But you got to have turkey. You got to have mashed potatoes. That's my that's my stance. If you want to throw a ham in there as well, right. now we're cooking, man. That is, that, is, that is a prime Thanksgiving. Can you smoke a ham for us? Yeah, for sure. Cool. You got to buy it, though. That's fair. That's fair. I'll smoke whatever you want on the trigger. It's great. I enjoy it. I thought about making an apple pie. You can make you can make apple pie on the trigger. What? Yeah. That's Think awesome. about that. With apple pellets? Whoa. An apple would smoke apple pie. Yeah. My that changed life, man. That would I mean, yeah. It's very meta. Yeah, yeah. They also have pecan pellets, so I guess I could make you a pecan pie. I'm okay. With I don't know. Pe- pecan pellets. I'd rather an apple pie. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Um uh, did we even say what these people said? No. No, I just yelled at about punk punk. So you think ham tastes better? You just don't think you should eat it. You have to eat a turkey on Thanksgiving. I'll say this. I thought you were going to have a much more yelling conversation with me. No. No. See, you thought it was. I know. My voice just gave out. That was weird. No. Okay, here's what I'm going to say. I don't think ham tastes better. Okay. Okay. I think turkey is the riskier decision. Sure. But I think it's a decision you should make because it's just classic. But I think it has higher highs. And lower lows. But much, much, much lower lows. Okay. Okay. Where honey baked ham, that's going to be good every time. It's so easy, too. It's so It easy. always comes with the instructions right on the package. And you just, just put it on a thing and just put it in the oven. Yep. You just let it sit there. It's great. You know, the other, the one, the, the other upside, you don't have to dig inside of a, of a ham. That's true. You have to dig inside of a turkey. Yeah. And it's kind of weird. Yeah. I'm not about that part. Yeah. But you know what? This year I don't have to do that as much because I'm just going to cut the whole spine out and just... Yeah, there you go. You can't do stuffing, though. I don't do stuffing inside the turkey anyways. All right. Last year I did, like, orange and... Onion. Orange? Yeah. Oh. A little citrusy flavor. Gives it, like, a little bit of a, a flavor? Yeah. Mm. It was, like, orange and something else. I remember. But this year I'm doing, like, a maple-y glaze. I've got uh, some pellets that have maple... And hickory and all stuff. It's gonna smell so so good. In Man, this I want to try it. You should come over. No, I got I got way too many things going on. That I'll day. throw you a piece wherever you're at. I'll okay. save you one piece. Can you get a carrier carrier pigeon? A, a carrier. <laughs> I know I'm gonna get carry uh, carrier, carrier turkey, turkey. <laughs> to carry <laughs> carry a piece of turkey in its mouth to me. All right, so I'm still gonna go. I'm gonna disagree with you. I disagreed with you on the vote. I went. I voted turkey. Okay, yeah. But what do the people say? I have no idea. Okay, let's check. Bring it up. Bring it up. For 53% turkey. 53? I thought I was going to be wildly outvoted. No, it's very close. Wow. 53%. So I feel way better about my answer now. Yeah. I, ham is very popular. Yeah. Here's the, here's the people I don't like. Are you ready? <laughs> I had no idea why you were pausing. But yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I'm going to make sure you're ready. I'm ready. Salmon people. Sam- people do that on Thanksgiving? Yep. Or do you just mean people who like salmon? No, people that do it on Thanksgiving. That's a thing. Thanksgiving thing? Yep. thing? Fish is a, th- a thing on Thanksgiving. What? Really? Mm-hmm. Huh. And it should not be. It's in the same place. The, there's a special place for those awful people that have casseroles, yeah. pecan, pecan pie, and salmon on their Thanksgiving. They don't deserve to come to the Thanksgiving table. They don't. They, they sit at the... They sit Rejects the, table. Not even the kids' table. Yeah. They sit with a dog. They sit on the floor. On the floor. I yeah. agree. They don't get a plate. They just have to hold it in their hands. Yeah. Salmon feels wrong because it feels too healthy. <laughs> like, I, you know, you got to eat something that's at least heavy. Right. You, exactly. you got to be laying on the floor after your Thanksgiving meal. And if you're eating, like, asparagus and salmon, you, got, you do jumping jacks after that. Yeah. I'm you, looking for a no jumping jacks You have to leave Thanksgiving dinner closer to death. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, your artery should be more clogged. Right. Not less. It's like the marathon of eating, right? But like, who, 
Who's the person that brings a salad to Thanksgiving? Like that person is a laughing stock. No, that listen, the salad salad's a staple, but it's just to be looked at. Like, it's that, just for people to be like, yeah, I'll eat something healthy. Right. Like, but like no, nobody's like, I'm just gonna praise the salad guy right now. The right. right. Gonna do no, no, you just you, you were the last guy to sign up. Here's what problem. here's what salad is. It's when you, somebody goes, Hey, did you want you want some salad? And you go, oh, I'll have it later. Yeah, yeah. You just and pass you don't, it. Yeah. You, don't. <laughs> you just forget. Oh, I forgot. Or it's got like you ever have see the salads that got like uh, strawberries in it? Yo, don't you, be tripping on. Hey, I like strawberry salads. No, all right? no, that's what I'm saying. Oh, you okay. just eat the, stra- you <laughs> oh, just eat the yeah. strawberries out of it. <laughs> you just leave all the lettuce and everything. That's else. a good point. Yeah, I know oh, exactly. I'm gonna eat some fruit. A little sweetness to this meal. All right, I have another question for you. I want to hear. Do you watch the parade? No, not about it. Why not? I don't know. I just don't care about parades in general. At all. Not really. Do you like Disneyland parades? It's fine, but I'd rather go on the ride. Like, have you ever sat and watched a whole Disneyland parade? Yeah, I mean, I used to go like every year as a kid. The nighttime one. Yeah, the nighttime one's the best, man. It's cool, bro, but I'm about the rides. If you're about the rides, you should go to Six Flags. I I agree. I think Six rides Flags us. is better. <laughs> Look at us, man. <laughs> we go to Six Flags and we can let our other weirdo friends go to Disneyland. Yeah, fine by me. We won't watch any parades. We won't watch any parades. So now you're on board with the no parades thing. Well, yeah, but if I'm at Disneyland, I'm going to sit on a parade. All right, fine. I'm going to watch one. I'm just saying that's prime riding hour. Yeah, I agree. I'm not disagreeing with you, but my family would go like, one time we went for like five days. Yeah. And I'm like, I wrote That's everything. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, we got to sit and watch Parade at this point. That's true. That's true. So, I mean, that was cool. But I I, I always enjoyed the nostalgia of watching the Parade with my family. That, mm. that was why I enjoyed it. I don't really enjoy the Parade. It's kind well, of boring. You know what my family did? We always watched A Christmas Story, the night of Thanksgiving. That's fair. It was like, hey, we're bringing in the Christmas season. Yeah. You, you want to know the other thing I really like, though, what? about the Parade? Is when the marching bands come out. We got a marching band guy in here. And they mess up. Yeah. Does that happen every year? What? It's so funny. Really? It's so funny because these people pay us so much money yeah. to go out and be a part of the the marching band and the parade. And they go and mess up. And you just laugh at them. That's Actually, awesome. My favorite part is when um, the marching band is marching right behind horses. And the horses poop. And the horses yeah. poop yes. And they walk through the poop. Because it's, it's- they're not allowed to do anything. They can't leave formation. They just got to walk. Yeah. So you got to try and step over the poop. But wow. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes you can't. So just walk through some poop. That stinks. Literally. Yeah, yeah literally. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. I would rather watch Thanksgiving football. Yeah. I just enjoy it. Thanksgiving football is better than other football on any other day. I don't know why. It's huh. like Christmas. I always watch basketball on Christmas. Really? Always is there always a Christmas basketball game? Always Christmas basketball game, and they usually have a special Christmas jersey. They look really oh. cool. And lots of players release Christmas shoes. Really? Great time. And for a while, there was a really cool commercial. I think it was Jingle Bells, where it was like a bunch of NBA players, and they're like shooting, and each uh, yeah. hoop, the net had a different type of bell, so it made different sounds, and they shot like an order, and all were making it to make the jingle for like Jingle Bells. It was really cool. It was a great commercial. They should bring that one back. If, if I have any poll... If any of the few listeners that listen to this know anyone, bring that commercial back. That sounds cool. I'm yeah, it was that. cool. Um, so what are you, are you guys having ham at your family gathering? Yeah, we're going to have turkey, ham, and that sausage and pepper thing. Oh, all right. No it's fish, though? No, not that I know of. All right. If anyone brings a fish, can you just look at them for me with disgust and walk away? Dump the fish. <laughs> Put it. Put it in a in a bowl of water. Say so this is where they go. It's like fish should be sushi, sir. <laughs> Just walk away. If this isn't raw, I swear. <laughs> here's I, here's I my question. I would not smoke a fish for you. You wouldn't smoke a fish for no. me. You wouldn't give me like a smoked tuna. No. What? I feel like it'd mess up my grill. What? Yeah. Um, I'm it'd heart. Ru- I'm ru- heartbroken. It ruined the seasoning of the grill. That's not true. A smoked tuna. Come on, Paul. You're in on this, right? What? Bro, you How just, about a smoked salmon? You just got dipped. See, you smoke salmon. Smoke salmon. Salmon's a lot less of an issue for me. You just told me you wouldn't smoke a fish. I'll go with salmon. Salmon will be the one. Okay. That's all you get. What no about, tuna. What about a swordfish? You have to catch it. If I catch a swordfish, yep. never going to happen. You don't know that. I know it, man. 
What if you go to the Seattle fish market and they throw a swordfish at you and you just catch it? Does that count? That counts. You caught it. Okay, I'll do that. And then I'm going to fly that swordfish back from Seattle. You're going to hold it? Yeah, of course. Sounds good. You got to treat it well. Here's my question for you. Every year, they pardon a turkey. Yes, every year. What are your thoughts? On what? The pardoning of a turkey? The pardoning of a turkey. Um, I think it's stupid. I what? What are, what are the odds that that turkey does not go into the wild after that? I, here's Where the, is it going? Here's the deal. Have you ever actually met a turkey? Yeah, we not hang like out all the time. Not understood his name. Or <laughs> you just mean like came in contact with one. No. They're awful. Yeah. They're horrible I've seen things. the videos. Yeah. Yeah. And they like don't die. They like, like if you've ever shot a turkey load from like a shotgun. Yeah. Those things are massive. Huh. It's like, it's like. Like, take your arm off. These things are crazy. But we wow. shot one, remember? On accident. Oh, I remember. Yeah. Yeah. They were crazy. Um, they hurt a lot. They hurt a lot. But because these things just like, they're like the cockroaches of birds. They yeah. Don't, they don't die. For some, I don't know. I've never gone hunting for a yeah. turkey, but I've just like, I did some research because I was bored. Sure, and, you sure. Know, I like to know things about animals. Yeah, apparently. we know. We know. The, I don't, why would we pardon that? I don't know. It's like a nuisance to society. Have you seen the videos of them like chasing kids yes, and like adults and stuff? They're like, Aah! and they coming at you. Just dinner, man. Why are we partying? Partying in one? What's the point of that? I don't know. I think it plays into it's the not whole even birds cute. thing. It's not even a cute bird. They always pardon one that's like a like a pure white turkey. That's weird. That is weird. I've never. I think they they genetically mutate those. ones. Probably that's probably why they pardon it. They're like, no one can eat. Nobody this. can eat There's this. Too many chemicals. Dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> but here's the deal. They say they pardon it. Do they? Where do they? Where does it where go? Where does it go? Exactly. Is it going to a bird sanctuary? Yeah, we don't know. Otherwise known as just the government. Yeah. Who's been keeping track of this? And we all know that that bird's probably a robot, anyways. Yeah. They exactly. pardon it so they come watch us. So they can reprogram it. And us. And us. Gosh. Yep. I hate. I hate the birds. They're the worst. I like eating them, though. No. The real That's ones. why I eat ham. <laughs> you just, hey, birds. I'm a, it's got to be a tracker in there. <laughs> <laughs> He's not eating turkeys. There's, there's, it's they're probably tracking you. government tofu. I just I, can't believe it. I did see a meme today that said, make sure to take, you know, the little instant, the little pop-up that oh, they yeah, put yeah, on yeah, turkeys. Yeah. They're, like, they're like, make sure to take out the tracker so when yeah. you eat it, they can't keep tracking you. I saw that on Facebook. Yeah, it was funny. <sighs> That's great. Well, what is your words of wisdom to the to the wise listeners of the Oddcast? My wisdom words to the Odd fans is simply this. I don't have a have a ham. Have a ham. Don't have. Would don't you have repeat a that? Because you said I don't have a ham. That's no. how you started that. Have a ham. Have a ham. Have a ham and mac and cheese. And throw in some bacon, too, if you want. <laughs> so bacon, mac, and cheese, maybe some jalapenos in there, main course. <laughs> <laughs> so your wisdom is boycott Thanksgiving. Yeah. Food. Get rid of Thanksgiving food. Just have normal food. <laughs> <laughs> maybe have mashed potatoes. And look at a canned cranberry. This is fun. <laughs> just open them and <laughs> slice them and just leave it. It's, it's cool. the centerpiece. Yeah. We should just have a cornucopia full of canned yeah, cranberry exactly. sauce. I think that's great. I think we should definitely do that. Next time we have Thanksgiving together. We're going to have a cornucopia yep. full of gel- gelatinous <laughs> cranberry sauce. I'm down. It sounds great. That's all that'll be in it. I'm so excited. Oh, man. I can't, I can't believe you don't actually like Thanksgiving food. It's fine. <laughs> Just saying, like I like other food better. I'm not like like if this is our one day of the year that we're celebrating by being gluttons. Like at least make it better, <laughs> you know. Well, what do you have at Christmas time? Ham. That's <laughs> great. I love it. What if I do? Actually, no. We do steaks on Christmas. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's a good thing. I'll, I'm going to do a brisket this year. Yeah, we typically do surf and turf. Oh, brisket. Nice. Yeah, you're not invited. Okay. <laughs> that seems fair. <laughs> Unless you bring in the turf, then you can come. Okay, I'll bring the salmon. <laughs> the one Make fish sushi. We can... <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for listening. Uh, Alex can't say anything else, even though he did. 
after his wisdom. I don't say anything after my wisdom. Yeah, you just did it. No, I don't say anything. Okay. It's forbidden. <laughs> it's forbidden by you. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, yeah, you're you're hearing this after Thanksgiving, so we hope you had a great Thanksgiving and, and Merry Christmas. Oh yeah, we can say that. We can. Yeah. We, I mean, we technically can't say it right now because we're before Thanksgiving, right. and that's against the but rules. Then, Maybe we should talk about that next week. We've already, we've talked about it last year, but we can talk about that. Well, we can talk about. Do we talk about the appropriate time? Yeah, is that we, what we did. talked about last time. I don't remember. That was a whole year ago. Yeah. We do this a whole year, man. We have. We are almost a year in. Well, anyways, thanks for listening, and remember, stay off. <laughs>